Hey everyone, Lady Liberty Stacker. It is Thursday, October the 7th, 2021, and I just got back from Aldi's again. I just was going to pick up some eggs and maybe some lettuce. And while I was there, I figured I'd see what else they had that was uh, keto-friendly, meaning low-carb, low-carbohydrate. And, you know, I'm just beginning... It's like it's uh, been a diamond in the haystack for years, and I've ignored it. Uh, the produce actually didn't look too bad today either. So I'm going to show you what I picked up and why I picked it up. And I got all of this, uh, including over a pound of ribeye steaks. Um, we have actually over th three pounds of meat here, plus cheeses and organic eggs and organic uh, spring mix, which is your, your leafy greens, uh, for $52.50. Uh, I couldn't believe I got all of this for $52.50. So I'll show you what I got. Um, you, go, you go in, you see all the produce up front, and I got this marinara sauce. Uh, it's not organic, but I look for low carbs. There's a lot of added sugars on marinara sauce. And this one was actually fairly decent. Um, you can see that it says carbs, 6 grams. Dietary fiber, 2 grams. Total sugars, 4. So there are added sugars, 4. Um, actually, no added sugars right there. 4 grams and protein, too. So... Uh, there's not a lot of fat and protein in sauces, but when I looked at the ingredients list, I can see tomato pulp um, in tomato juice contains less than 2% of extra virgin olive oil, garlic, and salt, and spices. Nothing wrong about that. It's a short ingredient list, and this would be great for just, uh, you know, to make some sauce to go with some um, zucchini noodles or slices or whatever I do. I do like to make zoodles out of my... Um, spiralizer a handheld that I make but I got these for I think it was like 99 cents or $1.79 I can't remember it was very reasonable these weren't the biggest ones but they're nice and green uh, the real large zucchinis usually don't have as much flavor you're better off with the smaller zucchinis but they're low carb on keto generally speaking anything that grows above the ground and that is green is especially friendly on keto that doesn't count against your daily carbohydrate allotment um, because it's got enough fiber that'll, you know, wipe out any um, carbs that would turn to sugar after you eat it. Okay. And I also found these. I saw this in another YouTube video. These are Crystal Farms Cheese Wraps Mozzarella Low Moisture Part Skim. You can actually use them to make a little sandwich uh, wrap, what have you. And they have the easy prep instructions. It's got zero carbohydrate, six grams of fat, and eight grams of protein. So a little bit of protein here. And you can put anything in there you want. You could put bacon. You could put mixed lettuce. I might make this later and put tuna, tuna fish in here. Tuna fish, mayo, uh, some mixed greens, and what have you. This is an excellent idea. You're not, you know, I've seen some high fiber. Uh, wheat wraps, but then you're getting back into the bread category, and you want to try to get away from that when possible. Uh, Aldi has a bunch of nice cheeses. This is Happy Farms by Aldi, and I ended up getting a Mexican-style shredded cheese. I, a lot of my uh, things I make use shredded cheese, but I like this one because it only had one carbohydrate. Let's see if I can't I have to hold the camera still. One carbohydrate, eight grams of fat and six grams of protein. The macros are very good on that. And then they have some, um, and it's all um, RBST free, and that's very important, you know, when you're buying cheese and dairy and that kind of thing. This is daily sliced cheese. It was very reasonable as well, and l zero carbohydrate. You usually find a little bit of carbs in these cheeses. Mild cheddar, again, the same thing, no RBST. And this has less than one carbohydrate. There's always a little bit in cheddar. But um, I like these. This one is Cheddar Monterey Jack Asadero and Quesadilla cheeses. But again, cheese is cheese. And if you use shredded cheese, it really doesn't make much of a difference. At least to me, it doesn't. This is a hard cheese. Hard cheeses are great in keto because they have less lacto. They don't really have lactose. They're full-fat cheeses. 
Again, it's our uh, BST free. This has zero carbohydrate, 100 calories per one ounce serving, which is just about right. Got to get this stuff in the uh, in the fridge though. It's starting to get warm. <laughs> then here is a um, Emporian selection Parmesan shredded cheese, and sometimes I like to have it on hand. I I can grate it too, but this is equivalent to grating your own. It was very reasonable. It saves me some time. And again, the carbohydrate was only one gram. Um, eight grams of fat, nine grams of protein per one ounce serving. So anyway, that's grated Parmesan cheese. Uh, we have some uh, small tomatoes on the vine. Again, very keto friendly. And then the spring mix, which is organic. Best price I've found in all of our grocery stores in town. I use about five of them, depending on what I need. Finally, the best, I'll save the best for last. We have uh, we have pork raised with no antibiotics, no added hormones. Um, doesn't really say grass-fed, grass-finished, but it, it was the best that I could find. I'm going to mix this with organic beef to make a meatloaf. And you want the fat profile to be there for your, on, your, on keto. And the reason why you're, you're eating fat, it's actually good for you if it's healthy fat along with the meat. And also, the better fat keeps you satisfied between meals, so you tend to eat less. And, you know, with, with the way I do it, I eat two meals a day, and you're going to eat better quality food in each meal. Uh, but this one has zero carbs, 22 grams of protein, 21 grams of fat, so it's, it's okay there. This one is similar. It's organic, uh, grass-fed, 100% grass-fed, which means grass-fed, grass-finished, 100% ground beef. And it is USDA, USDA organic on that. And then finally, a great find was boneless ribeye steak. Ribeye, along with prime rib, is one of the most um, fatty uh, pieces of meat that you can get um, as far as steaks go. Strip steaks and top sirloin are much more lean. If you're looking for lean, that's what you look for. I look for fattier uh, steaks now in my phase of the ketogenic diet. But this was $9.99 a pound. This is a little over a pound. And this is grass-fed beef and Thomas Farms. And this is quality. And you can see here it's $11.89 total, $9.99 a pound. It's got the macros, 30 grams of fat, 12 grams of saturated fat. Believe it or not, that's not a death sentence. Saturated fat is actually good. It has less chance of becoming damaged because it sits solid at room temperature. It's got a lot less uh, fatty acids that break apart, like uh, monounsaturated uh, mono uh, and poly, polyunsaturated. Poly has a lot of chains that can break, which they say could damage the fat and make it more dangerous. Um, cholesterol is reasonable. Sodium is reasonable in here. Zero carbs, protein is 19, so your fat macros is higher, much more um, keto-friendly. So that's it, guys. I had all of that uh, for $52.50, and I would have paid a lot more than that at any other grocery store. So Aldi's is going to probably become my favorite. Um, just, I just wanted you guys to know some of these products that I am finding and yours probably has them too, but you know, they, they do change. I looked for the uh, Wagyu beef that I got last time, and they didn't have it, so maybe it was a buyout or something like that. Um, I'm relatively new, so maybe somebody can comment below in the comment section if they do uh, offer that on occasion, if it's a buyout from another, uh, you know, grocery chain or something, or a wholesaler. wholesaler. Anyway, if you like videos like this, give me a thumb up, leave a comment or question below. I really appreciate the support, guys. It really helps me to continue to make videos like this. Um, I do have a cast iron one coming. I just haven't had a chance to make it yet. Um, just on some uh, cast iron fallacies and myths. Anyway, I uh, think that pretty much does it. Thanks for watching, and go make it a great day. And one more thing, guys, that I forgot, and I wanted to clarify from the last video. When I had picked these up for $2.79, which is the cheapest price for organic eggs that I could find anywhere, um, non-GMO and USDA certified organic, 
I said they were grass-fed, grass-finished. I thought they were. I didn't look close enough. I saw this. That looks like grass to me. But it says all natural grain fed. I want to clarify something. If it does say organic, it just means that the chickens were fed with organic feed. Could be grains, could be soy, could be corn, but it's organic, non-GMO. So it makes it, the healthiest is grass fed, grass finished, but you don't find that too often. And if you do, it's going to be more expensive. Uh, but this is the next best thing. Costco, which a lot of people go to, they have the $5.99 for um, a 24 pack of 24 brown eggs, but actually these are bigger and the yolks were slightly darker when I broke open the other pack. Uh, the brand here is Simply Nature Organic, and uh, but these are a little bit less expensive than Costco, and I do like the cardboard here. It's uh, great for the for fireplace fuel or for packing materials for my stuff on. Um, as I was saying, they make great packing material for my online sales uh, to cushion my items. Anyway, uh, that's it, guys. I just wanted to reiterate that. Uh, the next best thing to grass-fed, grass-finished is organic. Uh, you can be assured the feed is going to be organic and healthy for the chickens. All right, guys. Go and make it a great day.